Hello Pisces, I'm coming to you today with your weekly reading. This is the things that you should be focused on this week and as well as things that are coming for this week. Thank you Spirit God for higher power, ancestors as well as the Archangels for my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising as well as the other signs, other Placements in your chart. Spirit God, so what messages do you have? Make a decision. Feeling stuck or indecisive. Listen to your intuition and make a decision. Sorry, I'm going to fix the lighting so you guys can see it. Okay, it says to make a decision. So what is this decision going to be based upon for my Pisces? We are going now to the tarot deck. Again, Spirit Guides, Archangel for my Pisces. Please come through for their highest good with clear messages for me to give my Pisces. Let's see. The first one is the moon. Powerful, intuitive epiphanies. It may be something that is just like a flash. That's just like an aha moment. Like, oh, that is maybe something to help you connect the dots. Also letting go of worry and fear and understanding the truth of a situation. Again, an aha moment. Like, oh, okay, that's, that's what the fuck is going on that sort of energy with the moon the next card is the prince of spring charming self-confident passionate restless immediate action a challenge you can successfully manage a passionate relationship the next one is a new relationship or emotional experience an invitation to a social event so possibly a date or a party a compassionate friend you can share your concerns with so maybe you guys are having an epiphany about someone that you are interested in that's what I'm getting so far but let's see maybe somebody was in the friend zone and then they're like or had somebody in the friend zone and then they're like eh, nah and maybe you're having to make a decision about this but i don't know let's see let's see i love the new situations when they come in it has so much new potential let's see one more time happy news about your career promotion or scholarships well thought out plans that go perfectly needing a little push to get going again that could be a part of those one of those aha moments or uh that's what that is moments let's see though we're gonna get a little more guidance we are going to go here to the guardian angels and let's see what your guardian angels have for you my pisces spirit gods what do you have for my pisces this week what messages do you have for my pisces this week Okay, the card that fell out is go within you are a very intuitive person and there are many wonderful insights that lie waiting inside of you take time to get quiet reflect upon the desires of your heart through meditation or prayer there's no need to take action right now be patient with yourself intuitive intuitive epiphanies like you're going to have to pray or meditate over whatever it, this is. There is a time when everyone needs a hand. Your angels want you to know that there, you don't need to go through the challenges alone except the help from those around you. The situation that you're experiencing is temporary. This may not be the best time to be self-employed or to become self-employed, but be patient. I got two cards would be patient and then 
the princess of autumn was saying you need a little push to get going understanding the truth of a situation also here a challenge that you can successfully manage also both of these are telling you to share your concerns with someone that is compassionate Stop being so hard on yourself and turn your thoughts towards the positive. There's no need to worry. Anticipating the worst isn't helpful. Knowing that heaven will provide a solution if you're experiencing sleepless nights or anxiety over a challenge in your life. Release the problem to your angel. So, again, there is showing challenges here, but I'm not sure exactly what the challenge is. I'm not sure if this is about a relationship or... Or if this is maybe someone that you're working with, like that you're going to partner with during work or like says career promotion or scholarship. So maybe someone that you're working with on something. Let's see, Forgiveness is an important part of healing. Forgive yourself and those around you for the mistakes of the past so that everyone can move forward. Grieving is a normal part of life. Ask your angels and those you love to help you move through the process quickly so that you can get back to the path of joy. So, again, getting help from someone else. Um, we are going to get a message from the Oracle deck to see how you guys are feeling. Because I am seeing a lot of feeling stuck and having to go through something like you guys are going through something right now let's see if we can get a little insight on this i am selfish enough to want to feel good feeling good indicates your connection to clarity wellness and abundance and all good things feeling good is your most natural core belief so again you're going to have to take the time out to pray or meditate over it so that you can feel your natural core belief Because it's telling you that you're going to overcome it. Um, let's get a little clarification. Spirit gods. Spirit gods can give me clear messages for my Pisces. Clear messages for my Pisces, please. And we have the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles is generos generosity, charity, giving away, or sharing your wealth, or being able to share your wealth with someone. And then we have the King of Swords reversed. That is someone that is um, possibly abusing their power or someone that is manipulative or abusive or you know just a king as you can see a king that's imbalanced he's upside down so he's not a king sitting on his throne you're not yourself you're you're bothered you're worried here so then we have the ten of cups in reverse and that could mean a imbalance in home um, an imbalance in a relationship. Or maybe misalignment in values in the relationship. One more is the page of cups in reverse. And that is a creative block, emotional immaturity. So there's some immaturity here. That I'm seeing with all of these and blockages. So, let's get a little more clarification. Clarification on the Six of Pentacles. And we have the Judgment. Again, with the Epiphanies, the Insight, the um, Introspection. The 
the Knight of Cups. That is a romance, the knight in shining armor, or using your imagination. Using your intuition. Yeah, because that's right behind. It's going to have to be you using your intuition to make this decision. Whatever decision it is, you're going to have to use your intuition for it. Then we have the tower in reverse. You're trying to avoid a, a dramatic event or like trouble. Trying to prevent a, a disaster from happening for some reason. And then we have here the four of pentacles that is control... Um, stability, possession, security, trying to um, keep possession of your of your pinnacles. As you can see, she's guarding her pinnacles, making sure that they're all in alignment, as well as protecting them, covering them, covering and working all the things that you've worked hard for. Like, is that sort of energy with this? And then we have the Queen of Swords. And the Queen of Swords represents a quick thinker, someone that is independent. And that is um, organized as well. So again, you're going to have to get organized. Or you're going to have to... Change your perspective. About something. King of Wands in reverse. High expectations. Okay, so maybe you guys are going to have to. Let's see. Two more. Okay, we have the Five of Cups, so that's like crying over spilt milk. And then we have the King of Pentacles. And reverse, controlling. Okay, so you guys are going to have to let go of the control, because again, here, you're trying to control a situation. Whatever the situation is, you're trying to control it or like trying to avoid Making the decision and, you know, protecting the, something that you've worked for and you're going to have to, you know, use your intuition and not cry over the things that have disappointed you or that has went wrong. Let's get one more break free. Yeah, try different ventures or experiences that are, as a way to learn and grow. So, yeah, that is absolutely what it is. You're going to have to change your perspective. Thank you, Spirit Gods, for that clarification. Because I'm not really sure what these Pisces are going through. But I'm trying to get the message out as clear as day. So, thank you for that break free. Again, like I said, you're trying to control something. And you're like... Trying to avoid something as well. Since you're coming through like this here, guys, let's let's dig a little deeper. What is it that my Pisces are going through right now? What is it that they are making a decision upon? Something that is out of your control, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> Something that is pretty much out of your control. Let's see. Okay. All right.
right and this is says something new and excited relating to creativity or your career comes to your attention you feel an eagerness to learn and you're ready to get going although you may feel insecure do it anyways this card represents someone in your life or maybe even you who is creative enthusiastic and fascinated by life and who wants to try everything okay so maybe you guys are wanting to try something new or this is definitely career based and it's someone that you're going to be working with possibly and it's telling you to try different ways or releasing worry But you're going to have to come to some sort of point where you let go of worry and fear in order to feel good. As well as being able to go within. Either way it go, there is happy news on the way. So, you guys, good luck. And now I am going to do you guys' relationship reading to see what you guys have going on in your relationship. I'm going to leave these cards here. Oh no, I'm going to take these out because we're going to relationship now. So, let's see. Spirit of God's what is it that my Pisces have going on in their relationship right now? We have the four of pentacles in reverse and that is greed self-protection so some of you guys may be just like uh -uh, i'm protecting my energy right now i don't want to be bothered with anybody fuck you fuck that nope um let's see more messages from my pisces queen of wands and reverse and that is someone that is aggressive demanding violent so maybe you guys are Demanding and violent. Then we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, and that is lacking ambition and focus. Or someone likes to be perfect. So some of you guys may just be like, no, nah, I don't want to be bothered. I am off balance right now. And, you know, I just ain't got time for it. The Seven of Swords. Okay, well, who think they're getting away with something? Because you're not. Betrayal, getting away with something. Deception. What is it? Okay. Um. Greed. Materialism. Bitchy. And lacking ambition and focus let's get a little bit more and then we have the king of cups coming in and that is someone who is emotionally balanced as well as generous so maybe you guys have someone that is a scorpio pisces or cancer or maybe you guys are the king of cups here Someone that is emotionally balanced and that is generous. Think they get in the way with cheating. No the fuck you ain't. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we have attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. The only reason why I say third party interference, somebody cheating this because this somebody think that they're getting away with something. And I'm not sure exactly who it is. 
But I'm going to leave that right there because motherfuckers be thinking they slick and they not. And we're not even doing that. Let me move it over so y'all can see. We're not on it at all. Um, okay, what is this Four of Pentacles in reverse? The snake. Looking over your shoulder, the other woman, competition, enemy, clever. Malicious. Let's see, one more. Awaiting a text message, arriving messages. Okay, so someone may be waiting to hear from their person, but their person is not going for it because they are dealing with someone else. So if you are in separation from your partner right now, or your partner is not talking to you, then they are getting away or thinking that they're getting away with something by hooking up with somebody else. Or maybe you guys are reaching out to someone else or interested in someone else. And maybe this King of Cups here, someone may be coming in, but I don't know. So we're just going to leave that here. Um, the Queen of Wands in reverse. Who is bitchy over emotionally, over emotional and cold hearted? What's going on with that? Separation, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. I told you somebody had to be in separation and they was talking to somebody else and they flirting with somebody else online and they think that they're getting away with it. And you're not. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so we have healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationships. So you're maybe lacking focus on healing yourself and you need to heal yourself. <clears throat> have a positive mindset, manifest exactly what you want. And that may go with the King of Cups, someone that is emotionally stable and secure and then we have happiness expansion joy playfulness one enjoying each other again with the king of cups so you guys may again be dealing with someone else that is a pisces it could be a scorpio cancer let's get a little more clarity i have a card that slipped over here that i did not see oh okay we got the devil in reverse that is definitely toxic. It's a Capricorn energy, detaching, breaking free, and reclaiming your power. Okay, so can I get some clarification on the separation? The Seven of Wands in reverse. And that is giving up, being overprotective. Someone may have been overprotective. And then, I mean, you may just be giving up and just like, fuck this. I'm, again, detaching from this shit. Like, eh, go, go, go. It's going much business. <laughs> and then we have the magician in reverse. And the magician in reverse is someone who is a manipulator. Possibly an Aries that you're dealing with. Or Aries may be in your chart with the seven of wands. The wands is fire signs, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. The devil is Capricorn. Again, I think I said that whenever I flipped it out. A little more clarity. 
is the five of swords and that is being open to change past resentment so again you're healing from the heartbreak it may be time again freedom from toxic relationship that shows it right here i just said that like y'all are just over that shit or somebody is over it and i don't fucking blame you so what's up with the snake because nobody likes snakes in their grass what is the snake clarification on the snake please the ace of wands that is power potential so the other woman is someone or the other person i'm sorry i'm not even going to put a gender on it the other person is someone that your partner could see as potential then we have the ace of pentacles and this is a lost opportunity so they could you could either have lost an opportunity due to a a side chick the other woman that's what it says that's why i mentioned woman the other woman but then we have the queen of cups here that wants to come out and that is someone who is calm emotionally secure so again once you get to this paradise this happiness the extension um playfulness Healing from the heartbreak, having the positive mindset more so. This would more so resonate with the abundance. Okay, let's get clarity on the paradise. Where does the paradise come in at spirit, guys? After this heartbreak and this separation, after I just broke these P Pisces heart or the cross watcher, I'm sorry, whoever, whatever. We too old, start communicating what the fuck it is that you want. Social media fucking everybody up. Get your life together. Figure out what you want. Again, clarification on paradise, please. Clarification on paradise. We have the six of wands. Goddamn right, this paradise. <laughs> that is public recognition. That's victory, self-confidence, progress. Yes, happiness, expansion, progress. What are you going to be progressing in? Let's see, Pisces. What are you going to be progressing in? Uh, we have the Ace of Cups, um, blocked emotions or keeping your emotions inside. So maybe some of you guys are going to stop holding your emotions in and you're going to get over this shit. And I hope that you do. And I thank you guys for watching this. Bye.